Hey guys, it's Chris. From the African Loch Ness Monster to a newly discovered grinning crocodile, here are the 10 scariest things ever found in the jungle. Number 10. African Loch Ness Monster The jungle is full of terrifying monsters, and guess what? It just got scarier. In the middle of the Congo, there have been reports coming in of a Loch Ness Monster, similar to the one from Scotland. While it's easy to shrug off such a claim, there might be more to this story than just a bunch of nonsense. In fact, stories about a large, Nessie-type dinosaur lurking in the remotest parts of the Congo, well, they're kind of nothing new. The earliest European explorers allegedly spotted these beasts hundreds of years ago. Particularly, the German adventurer Paul Gratz told the world that he saw a type of saurian, much like a crocodile, but without scales. And that was while he was in the African jungle. Many people believe that in the unexplored regions of the Congo, there is still a small group of surviving dinosaurs. In 1981, a dinosaur creature was photographed in Lake Telly by an American adventurer and his wife. However, the photograph was extremely blurry and nobody really believed them. But the truth is, there very well could be an African Loch Ness Monster, or something like it. A small pygmy village is said to have caught one such beast while fishing in 1930, and then speared the animal to death and cooked it for dinner. But after the feast, everyone who ate the flesh of the beast died. Then there are photographs of huge footprints that defy explanation, numerous eyewitness reports, and countless stories. Yet through all of this, there's no physical evidence to look at. At least not yet. Number 9. Giant Anaconda It's not unusual to find a giant snake in the jungle. The jungle is literally filled with giant snakes. However, construction workers at a building site in Brazil may have recently found the biggest giant snake ever. This snake was discovered following an explosion inside of a cave while construction workers were building the new Belamonte Dam. Apparently, the snake weighed an unbelievable 880 pounds. The body of the snake was so big that they had to use a piece of heavy machinery just to lift it in the air. At first estimates, construction workers said that the snake was at least 30 feet long. However, the snake died, and nobody's really sure where it ended up. For this reason, nobody is able to properly measure and document the snake, and so it didn't end up breaking any official records. The current record for the longest snake in captivity is held by Medusa, a female reticulated python in Kansas City that measures 25 feet and 2 inches long. If the anaconda discovered by the Brazilian construction workers truly was over 30 feet long, it'd be the biggest of its kind ever seen by human eyes, and only about 14 feet short of the legendary Titanoboa. So what's the biggest snake you've ever encountered? Was it a rattlesnake, an anaconda? Tell me about the scariest experience you've ever had with a snake, or really any other disturbing reptile in the comments below. Then be sure to subscribe to World List for more amazing videos just like this one. Number 8. A Monster on the Loose This also takes place in Brazil, where just recently a man was found dead, his body covered in unusual puncture wounds. Apparently, the guy was a ranch hand who went missing in the dead of night. When his body was found the next day, it appeared he'd been ravaged by an unknown animal. While it's easy to think it could have been a predator like a jaguar or even a lunatic human, rumor has it that a mysterious creature is on the loose in Brazil, killing indiscriminately. This guy is not the first to have been fatally attacked by an unknown assailant. In fact, so many people were killed mysteriously in that region that a cattle rancher was forced to call in wildlife experts from Australia to figure out what was going on. A pair of wildlife experts, who actually have their own TV program where they locate monsters all over the world, arrived in Brazil to investigate. What they found was absolutely shocking. Near the ranch where most of the fatal attacks had taken place, the wildlife experts discovered giant anteaters. After further investigation, they realized that the puncture wounds on the victims exactly matched the claws on the giant anteaters. Rather than some kind of spooky monster terrorizing the land, it was just a murderous anteater. This was especially surprising because anteaters are usually really docile animals. However, it turns out that anteaters can kill if they need to, and not just once. Number 7. The Grinning Crocodile A new fossil discovery for the Amazon jungle has revealed one of the most terrifying river beasts of all time. The creature was a pteropod, and it lived 372 million years ago. Its proper name is Parmastega alidae, but it's known as the Grinning Crocodile. 
And this is because it has eyes protruding from the top of its head with a massive mouth full of sharp fangs that curved together to form what would have looked like a menacing grin. According to the report from CNN, this prehistoric monster could have feasted on just about anything. It was an apex predator that loved to eat. But the grinning crocodile wasn't as large as you might think. And it wasn't even really a crocodile. Researchers believe that the animal was only about three feet long, and that makes it quite a bit shorter than modern crocs. Another interesting characteristic of the grinning crocodile is that it used gills to breathe underneath the water. Researchers also figured that it probably never got out of the water. Unlike crocodiles and alligators who don't mind roaming a bit on land, this creature probably lived in the water full time more like a fish but it still could have grabbed its prey from the shoreline. Even more fascinating is that scientists say the grinning crocodile is more closely related to a modern mud skipper than a crocodile. Number six, Reflegia flower. Okay, so we're moving from ferocious monsters to now this, a seriously disturbing plant. The Reflegia flower is the largest flower in the world and it's kind of terrifying. This enormous flower grows to be over three feet across. It has no roots, it has no stems, and it has no leaves. In fact, this monster of a flower is undetectable until it starts to bloom. The buds will bloom suddenly from the infected host vine, then over the next few months will swell until they're the size of cabbages. When in full bloom, the flower has a massive orb-shaped opening at its center that looks like it could swallow a human person alive. Inside the opening are spiked structures that look horribly dangerous. What's really interesting is that botanists have no idea what the spikes do. It's almost as if they're purely ornamental. Luckily, the Reflegia flower isn't dangerous to humans at all. Still, it's a pretty scary thing to come across in the middle of a jungle. In the largest of these flowers, the opening is big enough for a small child to fit inside of. Number 5. Sea Monster Statue Deep in the jungle of Cambodia, a totally bizarre statue of a sea monster has been discovered. What's really crazy is that the statue was discovered in a national park and apparently hasn't been seen in 1,500 years. This happened in the province of Siem Reap, very near the legendary Angkor Wat. Experts who visited the site have said that it was built sometime in the 6th century from sandstone, but nobody is totally sure what its purpose was. The statue is unlike anything officials in the country have seen before. It's about 6 feet long and 3 feet high, and it's the only one in the area. Archaeologists did not find the foundations for a temple, and they didn't find the leftovers of a village. The only thing they found was this strange sea monster carved out of stone. It's believed that the sea monster represents Makata, a sea creature famous from Hindu mythology. What makes this even more of a bizarre discovery is that the area is not near any water at all, other than the large lake that had once been near Angkor Wat. Any large body of water is many, many miles away. What on earth would a sea monster from Hindu mythology be doing in the middle of a forest? It's truly a strange mystery. Number 4. Cult Killings in the Jungle The next story is not for the faint of heart. In the jungle of Panama, a very grim discovery has been made. A sanctuary that belonged to a cult whose indigenous members claimed to be anointed by God. The sanctuary was used to sacrifice people who didn't believe in the teachings of the cult, including members of their own families. It's been reported that seven villagers were slain by the cult in January of 2020, with 14 other victims being rescued the next day by local police who found them tied up inside the makeshift temple. In total, nine villagers have been arrested and charged with murder. According to one of the distraught tribal leaders, nobody expected it. The small village of El Tehran is on the Caribbean coast, cut off from the modern world by a thick jungle. It's usually a very happy and quiet place. Most people are related to one another. The commerce is generally shared, and there are only about 300 people living there. The local residents had largely been ignoring the new religious group, which formed after a villager returned to the community after a short trip abroad, bringing back with him unusual and unheard of religious beliefs. Apparently, those beliefs turned violent when the nine members of the church began to drag their victims inside and sacrifice them. And it's not exactly clear what happened to make the cult members do this, what exactly got in their minds to convert them in the first place, but it's definitely something that you would expect to see in a horror movie, not a peaceful jungle hamlet. Number 3. Giant Turtles on a happy note, the biggest turtle shell ever has been discovered. And if you thought sea turtles were big, just wait. Five to ten million years ago, there were giant turtles swimming in the freshwater swamps of South America that absolutely dwarfed anything alive today. 
And yes, we have physical proof of this. Researchers have recently found a shell belonging to one of these massive turtles, and it measured 10 feet in length and weighed over 2,500 pounds. And if a giant turtle isn't scary enough on its own, researchers are saying that they had horns on their shells to protect their delicate heads. In other words, these turtles were real-life Bowsers. But even though they had spiky shields and were enormous, bite marks were discovered on the fossils of the shells that show that predators millions of years ago weren't deterred by their spikes. Cayman still feasted on the turtles. According to CNN, the newest fossil shells were discovered in Colombia and Venezuela. However, the first giant turtle of its kind was described in 1976. For the past almost 40 years, paleontologists have known about giant turtles, but they could never have guessed that they were truly this big. Hopefully, researchers find even larger turtle shells in the future to prove that there were even bigger turtles that existed millions of years ago. Number 2. Maya Shark Hunters how would you like to go hunting for sharks in a canoe? You probably wouldn't, because sharks are terrifying, and nobody wants to try picking one out of the water with their bare hands. However, it turns out that the ancient Maya civilization may have had the opposite idea. We've always known that the Maya were obsessed with sharks. You can find images of sharks in almost every Mayan city from Mexico to Guatemala. But this endless fascination with sharks has actually confused researchers for a long, long time mainly because it didn't make sense that tribes living inland had adequate knowledge of sharks. But new evidence is saying that the coastal Maya probably hunted sharks, then traded their parts to different tribes that didn't have access to ocean fishing. And it's also likely that the coastal Maya journeyed into the jungle with stories of sharks, passing along their knowledge of these horrifying monsters to others, who then went and drew them on every piece of rock possible. Even more interesting is the theory that says the Mayas discovered the Megalodon hundreds of years before popular science. Most researchers agree that fossilized Megalodon teeth were discovered by the Maya, and they interpreted the teeth as being from a giant shark that had only one huge tooth. Number 1. A Dog-Sized Spider Hunting sharks might sound scary, but that's one of those activities you'd really have to put in a lot of effort to do. However, it doesn't take much effort at all to walk through the jungle and discover a spider the size of a dog. But that's exactly what happened to Peter Naskrecki when taking a leisurely walk in Guyana. According to a report from Live Science, he heard something rustling beside the trail as if running towards him. He quickly turned his flashlight, expecting to see a small rat or possum come flying out of the trees. But instead, he was looking at a spider the size of a dog. Of course, this could only be the Goliath Bird Eater Spider, labeled the largest spider in the world by the Guinness World Records. This thing has a leg span of about 12 inches, and this spider can weigh about 6 ounces. Scientists have known about the spider for a really long time, but that doesn't make stumbling upon it any less frightening. Peter is actually a scientist working in South America, and claims that these spiders are so rare that he's only spotted one three times. And while not immediately dangerous, they do make an incredible sound when moving through the brush, loud and dense like a horse's hooves smashing into the dirt. They're also able to send out a cloud of super sharp hairs with microscopic barbs on them, which can stick into your eyeballs or your mucous membranes and cause extreme pain and itchiness. It's like the worst kind of pocket sand. So which of these horrifying discoveries freaked you out the most? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and thanks for watching. If you liked the video, feel free to subscribe and come back soon for another.